right, in this video here, we're going to look at shoulder abduction. So landmarks for that. Our fulcrum is going to go over the anterior aspect of the acromion. Remember that acromion, I'm going to have to actually have you lift your head up a little bit, slide this over. It has to be right on top. It's that shoulder pad bone. So just come right to the anterior portion, create that fulcrum that goes infinitely down. So right there. So you're not going to place it right on the skin but right over top of it. These shoulder ones are really not too bad as long as you can manipulate the arm okay because you just have to have things kind of line up and don't have to be pressing against the skin. So we have that anterior portion here. This is also where your body pin can come in handy. You can mark that spot so you can easily see where that is. So the stationary arm is going to go parallel with the sternum and then you're going to have her externally rotated in the anatomical position and you want to bisect that humerus for the moving arm here. So I generally st uh, stand in a position so that I can just get out of the way as soon as she starts to abduct. That way I'll be in between her body and the arm. I have more control over it. In the end, you find what works best for you. So I'm gonna kind of support that arm and then I'm gonna go ahead and have you abduct as far as you can. All right, that's all she's got. Again, I can remove everything and if I've already put that marker there with the pen, it's super easy to find that fulcrum spot. So actively, as you can see, she has 82 degrees of active abduction. I'm gonna apply some pressure. Starts to get firm right there. 95 degrees of passive shoulder abduction. So we're gonna to need to work on some inferior capsule stretching. And that's your goniometric measurements for shoulder abduction.